Cass, don't don't get up until she says the other do you need. That's when you get up, okay? Camera set. And action. John Abnett and I met when uh, John directed the uh, TV film of Have a Little Faith of my most recent book and I wrote the script. But then this uh, new project started and he called me and asked me if I would write something for it. And writing, okay, I can do that. So I said, yeah, I'll write a piece for it. And I wrote a piece for it. And then he said, well, you should direct this. And I said, I don't think so. I don't know anything about directing. And he said, oh, we'll be there alongside you. So. Uh, I said, well, all right, if you want me to try, as long as you'll be there. And of course, I came out here, and he was here about 10 minutes, and uh, left me on my own the whole rest of the way. So I hope it came out okay, but it was a lot of fun. Mitch said he was nervous because this was his first time directing on a, on a you know, film or television set, so I thought I would hang around the set and impart my experience and wisdom to him. But, you know, it, it was pointless because he's such a prodigiously quick learner that all of a sudden he was looking like he'd been born doing it. So I just, you know, faded in the background before I, you know, embarrassed myself. Uh, like Avnet said, you know, the last thing that um, anyone taught Mitch Album was to tie his shoelaces when he was three. And after that, he's been on his own. Leslie is about an actress named Leslie who has seen better days. Uh, She's a little mature for the acting world, but she gets this opportunity for a really big part that could put her right back on top, playing Mother Teresa in a big feature film. When she finds out she's one of the last two to for the part, she's on her way home to her New York apartment, and she discovers a homeless man sleeping underneath her mailbox. Normally, she'd be the kind of person who would just step over a homeless person, but since she's up for this part of Mother Teresa, she thinks, be the part, get the part. Do you need, um... What are you doing? Do you want to come in? Say no, say no, say no. Yeah, if you don't mind. Shit. Not at all. And so she lets him into her apartment, and it's about the relationship that develops while they're waiting for the phone call to find out if she gets the part or not. So did anyone, uh, anyone call? Mm-mm. Don't worry, you're gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. Just aren't that many parts for women over 30, you know. Maybe you start there and you bring him. Yeah. Like you're, you're finishing his sandwich. Yeah. Then you bring him the sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Then you come back. Okay. Then you bring him the chips. Because it's a lot of talk yeah. for you to just be yeah. sitting yeah. there otherwise, you know. Yeah. So let's see how this uh, let's see how this works. And Cass. No, I gotta see the shot to see. I thought yeah, it looked better when he excited about doing this because I really think this is the way that storytelling is going to go. I don't know if television is going to give out first and going to go to this, or movies are going to give out first and going to go to this, or books are going to give out first and going to go to this, but eventually all roads are going to lead to the internet because human nature is what it is. People go the easiest route. You make something easier for them. That's why television has never gone out of style because you can do it in your underwear, in your house. I figure anything that can be done in your underwear is pretty much the future of America and probably the world. And so uh, watching the thing that I made can be done in your underwear. And so that's why I wanted to do it. That's gonna be my new motto now. Only do things that can be done in your underwear. Do I think I'll direct again? Uh, this isn't probably the best time to ask me because you're asking me, you know, I still have two more shots to go out there and I have a plane in an hour and a half. So under these conditions. So you're asking whether Mitch will direct again? Uh, which choice metaphor do you want to get? Is it the bear or is it the Pope? Uh, the answer to the question is, if Mitch wants to direct, he'll direct again. Because Mitch is about the fastest learner of any person I've met in my many years on this planet. So uh, I think we may have opened Pandora's box, but we'll all be the beneficiaries of it. And cut. How did that feel? I thought the, the, the drift on the look was pretty nice. And cut. Yeah. All right. cut? I think we got it. Go ahead. Play that back. Pleasure checking the playback.